Welcome back to In Style Atlanta. I am Ms. J, and we are being joined by Russell Hornsby. Thank you so much for joining us. My pleasure. He is here to talk to us about BMF. So my first question to you is, how did you prepare for this role to play Charles? Well, you know, I had um, two things. Um, I had an, uh, the pleasure of speaking with uh, Miss Flannery, uh, Lucille Flannery, uh, the mother of the boys. Uh, Charles is no longer with us. He left us in 2017. Okay. So she really gave me um, just a, a history of, of their relationship, their marriage, their friendship, um, aspects of how they raised the children, uh, what kind of man uh, Charles was, mm -hmm. and uh, you know just how he dealt with, with the family and what they were going through at that time. And then I like to just say, to be honest with you, it's one of those things where at my age now, I've been black my whole life, right? right. And so, you know, I'm born and raised in Oakland, being around men similar to Charles, you know, these hardworking blue collar men who hold down two and three jobs, um, pillars in the community, and just uh, upright stand up gentlemen. So I was raised and influenced by a lot of those brothers. So as I'm honoring Charles, I'm also honoring those men. And so, you know, it's also, you know, important for me to bring a certain level of consciousness and conscientiousness to, uh, to the work as well. So, you know, it, it's all of those things. Awesome, awesome. So we've seen you in Fences. We've also seen you in The Hate That You Give. How have those roles helped prepare you for this role as well? You know, it, honestly, it's, it's really given me an opportunity to get more in tune, as I said, culturally with the, with the work. You know, not being afraid, uh, you know, to tell these black narratives, tell these black stories from our perspective, uh, from an authentic place. So, you know, when, I, when, when working on August Wilson doing Fences, you, you're talking about a man who's taking the, looking at the black cultural landscape in the 1950s and how, uh, where blacks were at that time in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. We're talking about the hate you give. We're talking about a fictional character or fictional characters that could be, that could be real, that are in, in certain instances based on real people. Right. And again, so it's really with those um, cultural opportunities, that cultural specificity, uh, and being, as I said, in dealing with who we are, um, dealing with our history in black, and bringing that to the work. And so, you know, that's how I prepare, and that's what those other opportunities did for me, because you get an opportunity to sort of really uh, sit down in the culture, right. you know what I mean? Right, right. Sit down with the people, you know. It's like kind of like when you when you were away from college. I mean, for me, and then you go back home and you're there for the cookout or the barbecue, and your folks are like, "Oh, this is how we this is how we right. do." <laughs> you're like, "Yeah, I didn't miss y'all. This is what's up. This is what I'm talking about." You know what I mean? Right. And so that's what the fences. That's what the hate you give did for me, and that's what BMF has done as well. So you a policeman now? Cause them men need weapons to do their job. What kind of job you got? You need a gun. It's not like that. Then what's it like, Demetrius? So let me ask you this question. How was it working with 50 Cent as an executive producer? Oh, it's dope. I mean, listen, I got I have so much respect for 50, obviously as an artist and as an, as an executive, but also as a creator of content. You know, again, what he's done, you know, with the Power Series and what he's done with Racing, you know, Kanan and everything like that, and then now what he's doing with BMF, again, what he's doing is he's shining a light on who we are. He's shining a light on our stories, on our background, on our history, and not t not looking to exploit it, mm -hmm. but looking to, you know, as I said, add a, a certain level of authenticity into the storytelling so that we uh, can be proud of what we're watching and also be proud of what we're being a part of. So now it's been, it's been great and 50's had a, a lot of, he's just given me a lot of support and has the utmost faith in me as an, as an artist and as an actor and how I'm gonna come about the work. So he really trusts me and I appreciate that. Okay, and then my last question is for you. Um, what do you want the viewers to take away from this show? You know, I, I, that's actually a very good question. I appreciate it. And how I answer that is this. I understand now, being where I am in my life, that when we watch certain things, we, where we are in our life is gonna dictate what we take from it. Mm -hmm. So, um, so what I say is what you take is what you bring to it. And so it's gonna be about where each individual is in their life, uh, where they are in, um, in their development, uh, in their growth, as individuals, as young people, as middle-aged and as old people possibly, mm -hmm. as men, as women, um, where they're gonna be, as, uh, where they are in the cultural landscape. 
and black, and also where white people are, or where other cultures and you know ethnicities are, in terms of how they view us, right. and maybe lies that, that they've been told about who we are is going to also dictate what they take from it. And so you know, but for me, um, where I am now, I really appreciate the immense amount of heart that was uh, that I f that was contained in the storytelling. And that really got to me in a, in a beautiful way and affected me. Whereas maybe 10 or 15 years ago, I would have really been um, attached or attracted to something different, you know. But being a, a 47 year old man who's married with two boys at home, I really took to the, the love, you know, that was shared and that was exchanged through all the characters in various different ways. Um, but see, that's me now. I mean, it's much like, it's akin to when I watch The Wire. I've watched it over and over again over the last, and, it's, and it affects me differently as I've aged. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? And I see different things. So to, in a long roundabout way of asking your, answering your question, it's really gonna be about what people bring to it and who they are and where they are in their, in their life. Got it, all right. Well, thank you so much for sitting down with us. We wish you nothing but continued success, and we will be tuning in on September 26th. Thank you so much. You're welcome, thank you. Yeah.